conversations that benefit black people for the sake of black people. Every man of humane convictions must decide on the protest that best suits his conviction. But we must all protest. Like I said, I look at everything that happens, you know, out here in the streets. I'm looking at it as an opportunity for education, not only for myself, but for everybody around me and everybody I care about. You know what I mean? You can tune into this. Uh, when you see me, you can holler at me. You can get on the Substack. Like I said, shadow.substack.com. You can get on my YouTube. Make sure you're on the YouTube. That's where the videos drop if you're not watching now. Um... Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. If you're not listening to the podcast, we would an audio drop. If you ain't listening yet, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's how we rocking with that. But um, I'm, I'm every, every opportunity, every situation is a learning opportunity. I can't forget that. You know what I mean? But uh, what's the... What, what, the other, the other shit that's that's popping off is the is the is the disrespect that the the parents think is is being on display at places like Sesame Place. Actually at Sesame Place specifically. Now. Now it's Sesame Place, right? It's always something. Now it's Sesame Place. But I was just having a conversation and I forget where I just heard this. I heard somebody use this analogy specifically and it matched my way of thinking so much. I, I've been using it ever since. Like once you out of bounds, you out of bounds. Right? Once you out of bounds, you out of bounds. And how far you go out of bounds ain't <laughs> that ain't changing how my day about to go How far somebody go out of bounds Like so I say that to say Like Not okay alright If a If a If there's a Chinese man in a ghetto Or a, I hate the word ghetto And I hate that it's attached to black people you know, and it's even attached to black people in my head. But if it's a Chinese man in a black neighborhood or it's a black man in a Chinese neighborhood, that person is not just fair game. I don't think that that should be a thing. No. But, damn, what was, what was my fucking saying? The saying was, yeah, once you out of bounds, you out of bounds. So, you go in the Sesame Place, you know. Sesame Place, the TV show, is an educational TV show, right? Um, from what I understand, the the TV show came, you know, they on stoops. Um, it's supposed to be the city. It's supposed to be New York, like that, you know. So um, what it was, it was uh, a black woman, you know, who was hell bent on getting educational services for for black youth. You know, that's what the that's what the show was about. That's what that's how it came about. You know, in the development she pulled in so many psychiatrists and and, and doctors and psychologists and to and caregivers to to add in and, and conduct these these research teams. To, to figure out what's the best way to reach these urban kids and teach them, educate them, because they're not being educated at home. So that's that. It was successful. I'm a Sesame, I'm a, I'm a Sesame Street kid, you know. I definitely say I grew up on Sesame Street, for sure, for sure. You know, like so many of us did. But when you flip to Sesame Place, Sesame Place has nothing to do with the purpose of Sesame Street. They have two entirely different jobs to do, right? So either 
either you separate those two things or you don't. Now, okay, most of us are not separating those things. So me, as somebody who separates those things and immediately looks at that as, you know, if you can't answer my question is, okay, so the people who put this thing together, who, who the successful uh this successful TV show for the sake of black people, whoever put this thing together, are they a part of this, this uh, amusement park thing? You know, are they conducting? Like, what are, what do they have to do with it? You don't even have to fucking ask. You know, they don't have shit to do with it. Matter of fact, I didn't even do the research, right? <laughs> That's how confident, and I'm not one to be just speaking confidently about things that I don't know. That's how confident I am that she don't have nothing to do with this mess. Um, Sesame Street uh, creator. Let me see if she got anything that he or she, I, I believe it's a she, has anything to do. It's produced by Sesame Street. It was created by Joan Gans Clooney and Lloyd Mor- Morissette. Clooney and Lloyd Morissette. Search. And let me see if they got anything to do with Sesame Place. Oh. She is one of the founders of the organization. Co-created by her. No, I don't think this is the woman either. Honestly. Don't think this is the woman. Original is children's television. So Sesame Street, Sesame Workshop. Original is children's television workshop. Negra. Okay, so Jim Henson is the black dude. Oh no, Jim Henson is another white dude. Where the fuck is? Oh man. So where did I get that from? I got that from um. What's the black dude name? African dude, comedian, been all over the place. He had the hair like I used to have with the, with the high top, with the dreads. Um, Godfrey. Godfrey. Yeah. Godfrey. That's who I got that from. He was talking about it. He was on such and such podcast. Ghetto Boys podcast. He was talking about... Maybe he said he met the black... He met the dude... I thought it was a black dude. Or a black woman. Who the fuck is this? John... Gans Cooney chick. Swirls of black chick. I gotta go redo my homework now. But anyway, it did the job that it was supposed to do. So, you know, she might actually have something to do with this motherfucker. Shit. That's really, it. she might have. Had everything to do with setting up Sesame, uh, Sesame Place. Actually, now that I think about it, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Vice President. Goal is to create a children's television show that would master the addictive qualities of television and do something good with them. Oh, okay, okay. This is 1966. The addictive qualities of television. So, doctors and and, and researchers were well aware of these tools 60 years ago. And they don't come into the mainstream until... How recently? Yesterday, bitch? You know what I'm saying? That a... It just got a little bit darker or something. Oh, 
a little bit darker. Man, it's wild. But anyway, moral of the story being the amusement park is not the place where you go for uh, respect and kindness. You know, it's attached to Sesame Street name, so you might be able to leverage some points that way. But in the the, the real grand scheme of things, that's not for that, and that's not for what you're looking for it to be for. Like you can't. I mean, if you own the place, or you know the nigga that's in the in the the costume. Yeah, man, that ain't for us. Anyway, you know what I mean? It definitely ain't for us after this little bit of research I just did. I mean, we definitely got to build our own educational systems, you know? Because if you can't trust your education, then what can you trust? If you can't trust your education, then no matter whatever boat you build, whatever car you build, whatever app you develop, whatever song you write, your people can't go to war on that shit. You know what I mean? Your people can't stand on that shit ten toes down because foundation shake. You know what I mean? Because you don't know you don't know where the knowledge came from. You know? And try to say this don't matter. Then you go, you might be successful without that type of game. But when you get there, you're gonna be able you able to be tricked out of your out of your spot. Because you, you told your people you didn't need the higher education. Why you was trying to seek a, a higher being? Come on, should not, should not add up, and it all it all adds up. You know, but it's not adding up in your favor. Gotta be keenly aware when the shit's not adding up in your favor. <laughs>